Hi, I'm uh, Casey Malone. Uh, this year I have a music video for uh, Pawn Pawn, that's the band, Pawn Pawn's Machine and the Ghost. Uh, it's the first single off of their now released, uh, the video came out before the album was released, but they're now released second album, Morning. That's M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, not like the time of day. It's the sadness. <laughs> and I guess I guess to sum up um to sum up the film is kind of difficult. They basically approached me and said, um, we just love your work, do whatever you want. And I was like, that's a really brave thing to do. Have you seen my films? And they were like, Yeah, that's why we want you to do it. I was like, okay. So um I don't even know how to sum it up. I think it's probably better just to see it. I, I think of it as sort of just a um, a fever dream, a kind of, yeah, kind of vaguely pagan uh, steampunk fever dream. Well, I thought it was uh, visually stunning. And like all your work usually is, is, you know, you've, you've, you are a legacy filmmaker with the festival and You've had, if I'm not mistaken, three films in the festival. That sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. And you've also done feature films. I, I saw Lesser Beasts. I quite enjoyed that. Yeah, the poster, poster right behind me. <laughs> do, you, do you have the poster for the other one? The yeah, one? it's it, uh, the other. Well, the other feature film. No, I have a poster for it, but it's not. It's not behind me. That's the one that everyone. Um, the whole cast signed at the Milwaukee premiere. So that one's kind oh. of, special. yeah. So if you, if you get really close to it, you can see uh, uh, everyone's signature, including uh, the short film festivals, uh, Friday night uh, MC and Iowa Walker. She she's on there somewhere too. She was one of the stars of the film. We also awarded you the pace setter in 2019 too, for your contributions to the local Milwaukee uh, filmmaking community. So you have a history of our film festival. I haven't been aware of that you've done music videos before. Is this the first one you've done? It is the first one that I've done. Yeah, that's correct. But music is very important in your work as well. Because some of the films I've seen before, music plays a very important component to it. Yeah, it's usually a pretty heavy narrative element in the films. Um I um, actually, it's interesting that you say that because the um, uh, one of the members of Pawn Pawn, uh, the band, you know, whose video I made, uh, his, uh, his name is Brandon Bolts. And Brandon actually said to me um, when he first saw Lesser Beasts quite a few years ago, he said that kind of just seems like a um, it, it seems like a feature length uh uh, he, what he said was, it seems like a feature length Warshak Jazz music video. Uh, the Warshak Jazz was the name I used to use for um, all of my own music, you know, sort of like I, I pulled a Trent Reznor, you know, Nine Inch Nails is really only one guy. So I had my own name. I stopped using that name a little while ago. And most of the scores that I compose now are all credited under my name. And most of that had to do with the fact that I would go to film festivals and I would always, the music would always be credited to the Warshak Jazz. And then people would come up to me after the film screening, um, other filmmakers and stuff. And they'd be like, uh, you know, God, do you know the person who did the music for your video? Because I want to hire them to make music for my video. And I, I just got tired of having the conversation. Yeah, it's it's me. I I did it. And they're like, so wait, you you wrote it, you directed it, you shot it, you edited it, and you did the music for it? I'm like, yes. They're like, how long does that take you? I'm like, I couldn't even tell you a long time. Film was a way to uh, combine all of my various loves, you know, um, the visual and the auditory and bringing all those kinds of elements together. So uh, one of the reasons I took the commission on to make this music video was the challenge of coming up with visuals for somebody else's vision, somebody else's music. And so um, that was just sort of, you know, when we initially had meetings about it, um, also via Zoom, actually, um, or Microsoft Teams, sorry, um, same thing. Um, I told them, you know, kind of the ideas, the, the visuals that were in my head. And um, 
and they were like oh, okay yeah sure go for it and um that's you know and i told them i wanted to do i said i i'd like to film you guys or have you guys film yourselves and send me the videos because this was actually done long distance i was never in the same room with them they are a band from ohio um and uh i told them i'd like to drop you guys into a completely animated environment uh you know doing a lot of collage style animation which i've been doing a lot of in my last films like the ringing bell the other feature film we were talking about has rather massive collage animation sequences in it um uh, one of the films that previously played the short film festival um a lot of my collage animation actually goes back to that film was a documentary I did called Dead Man's Carnival, a conversation with Pinkerton Xyloma, which played the short film festival. I don't know what year that was, 2016. 20, 20 uh, I believe 2016 or 2017. Something yeah, it was like one that. of those two. Yeah. There was a lot of, um, it sort of came from the fact that there was a lot of like heavy handed uh, talking heads in it as a documentary. And I was like, how do I, you know, break this up and I came up with the idea of doing these old like penny arcade style animations and so that has just sort of evolved over the course of uh, some of the films I've done whenever I find an opportunity where it's appropriate I kind of love doing that style of animation that like cardboard cutout diorama style of like 3d two-dimensional objects you know so you know you mentioned that about doing someone else's uh, music as as a basis for this music video, but it's got to be very interesting. Just the process of listening to that song and coming up with the visuals for a song that one you probably weren't familiar with till you heard it the first time. Mm -hmm. So it's because this is a band out of Ohio, but it, it's it's uh, someone with a music background such as yourself. It's got to be a very interesting process. I mean, <clears throat> it was, um, believe it or not, they largely uh, were very hands off. The most that we talked about was the technical aspect of lighting themselves in front of a green screen so that they could film the stuff. And the first, you know, I gave them some motions, some things I wanted them to do. Um, we discussed what they would wear, you know, that kind of stuff. I, you know, help them light themselves um, via, you know, like Zoom. Uh, but as far as the actual conceptual aspects of what went into the video, um, they they had no say in it. To be completely honest, they didn't even know what it was going to look like until I sent it to them. So I went and researched, you know, the machines that put together cars and stuff on a on a conveyor and stuff like that, and then started pulling those pieces out and creating the arms and things that would, you know, place it all together. So to do this, it very much there would there would be no way to actually do this without starting from the end and working backwards because you would just have no idea where you were going until you got to that ending reveal. So I actually built the whole thing in Photoshop. I built the whole machine in Photoshop, making places for where the people would go, the band members, <clears throat> excuse me, the band members would go. And then um, started figuring out, breaking it down, um, you know, figuring out what the modular elements were to the machine, you know, okay, this section would come off, this section would come off, this section would come off. And that was basically the process. And I did it fairly quickly, or at least fairly quickly for the amount of animation that was in it. There's a shot in the video where the camera's flying through all of these different gears that are turning. And I jokingly said to the band, I was like, I think we're going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for most gears used in um, a machine or in a music video. Because I think in that one shot, there's something like over a thousand individually animated gears in that one shot. Did you direct them at all through Zoom or did you just give them a, an idea? So the way, okay, so <clears throat> this is sort of how it works. So the, the band is comprised of uh, two guys and a, fem and a woman. And the female is the singer and uh, guitar player. Um, 
the guys, uh, Brandon and Dave in the band, I gave them a list of a series of moves that I wanted them to do. Now, Liz, the singer, um, I did differently. I sent her, so the way we started with her was, I sent her a series of YouTube videos of um, interpretive dance moves that I thought were interesting. So I found a lot of stuff where people were using their hands and their arms. You know, sent her another video of, of this one performance artist who did only hand stuff. It was really incredible what this woman was doing with just her hands. And she was very concerned because Liz actually uh, was... Uh, originally was a theater major in college so she was very um she now has her like doctorate in stuff that i can't possibly understand that has nothing to do with theater but um she was originally so she was actually really concerned about her face so we had a lot of conversations about like expression and how much should she emote should she be looking at the camera should she be looking to the right where's where's her eye line and the piece so we did have a lot of conversations about that so i guess from that perspective you know to get specific with your question i did direct them um but they gave me enough material that I was just sort of able to, even the stuff I didn't like or I d thought didn't work, I was able to just kind of pull out the good bits, you know. Um, and I had such a wealth of material that, you know, I was able to really kind of uh, have, a, have a lot of choices. Thank you for being here today, Casey. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing it on the big screen at Avalon. That's going to blow my mind.